Hey everyone. So, I know I did a video just earlier tonight with my brother, but I really want to try these out and show you um, some new things that I got. Um, I want to say it was last week. I wanted some white nail polish. Couldn't find any, couldn't find any. Because I wanted to do, you know, red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. So I found this Art Deco nail striper. It's from LA Colors. And it's just a really tiny bottle. And when you open it, it is just a nail striper. And it comes in handy really well. So I have that. And I think I have another color in here somewhere. Yep, and then I got pink. And this one is called Pop and Pink. And this one is white. So just natural colors. And then I noticed these. They are Sassy and Chick. Chic, something like that. Three in one nail art pen. And I got green or watermelon. I got blue or blueberry. Sorry about my phone going off. And I got pink or candy. So I got three of them. The only one that I can't get a pen to work on is the blue one, but you just pop off the top. Pop off the top. And that's what the top looks like, it's just a pen. And that looks orange. And then you put the lid back on. Just pops on. And then you unscrew this part. And it's nail brush. And then, as an added bonus, you unscrew that, and there's jewels. So you get that in all three of these. And I'm pretty sure there's more colors out there I just didn't see. And this happens to be the candy one. And this is the package that it comes in. And this is what it shows. But it's its cap, the pen, the polish brush, and then the jewel. I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to try, and I have never used Juul. I figured as much as I use my nail, or my hands, and they get bumped and everything, but I never use Juul. But I'm going to try some Juul today. I got some nail art glue that you can use, because it says decorate your nails with rhinestones to finish off your look. Use nail glue or apply directly to wet polish. I don't think wet polish is going to be in my favor. So I'm just going to try nail glue. So I'm going to do a pink with some green stripes. Okay. Okay, let's see how well I can do this without showing you guys a lot. Okay. Carefully try to stick that off to the side and it's not going to Okay. And I already still have some red on there because the red didn't like to come off. So let's just try it like this. And I do already have a base coat on there. This is coming out more than orange and a pink. But 
more of a pink. Excuse <clears throat> me. Okay, then I'm gonna put the blue on my pinky because I only did my ring finger and my pinky finger, and I can't get for the world. I can't get the blue pen to work. Somehow I'll try and hold this as I paint this nail. And if you guys want to know how to do this red, white, and blue nail tutorial, nails, just comment down below and I'll put a link up for that. Because at work, I've been getting lots and lots and lots of compliments on it. I had one lady ask me if it was professional or not. It's not. I did it my own. Okay, and let those dry for a second. Oh, it dries fairly quick. I mean, there's a little bit of a um, fingerprint in there because I just poked it. But other than that, there's, it fears. It uh, dries pretty quick. Let's break that end off. So I can have a nail glue. And this And I can. Okay. So I'm going to try. And lose it. Okay. And I just lost it again. Sorry about that. Okay. And all you do with this nail pen, hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, come on. Pop off. There's just decorate however you want. And it doesn't matter how you guys decorate your nails. You can do it how you want to. You don't have to follow mine at all. Okay, so something like that, maybe. And then for the blue, I'll just use the pink one. Okay, and hmm, we do a couple. Whoa, there's a big dot of pink coming out of there. Okay, and just put dot of pink there, dot of pink there. I honestly have no idea why this is leaking out. Okay. So there's that. And the pink is leaking out again. Got it. Sorry about wait, making you guys wait. Okay, I'm gonna put the cap on first and then. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. So I'm gonna dump out the charms. Some charms. And as you can see, there's a couple different sizes in here. So I'm going to try baby charms. 
a big charm. Let's go. Oh, I guess there is. There's small. Oh, here's. No, you guys can't. Darn it. Okay, there's this small one. Yeah, it's. I can tell it's hard for you guys to see. And these are just pink rhinestones. It's hard to get the little ones to turn over, but there's those ones. And then I'm going to add a couple blue to the other finger. And once again, I'm just going to. Oh! Can we use a blue tool? Push the computer back. The last one. And there's a baby blue tool. There's the pink tool. And there's a chrome. Okay. And then just screw it back on and there's your pen. Okay. Now to get these jewels going on, all I'm going to do, I have a toothpick here, but you don't need to use the toothpick if you don't want to. And then I just lost a pink tool. That's alright. Okay, I'm just gonna put a couple dabs of glue on here. See if it runs. Okay. There. So just two spots of glue. Uh, three in a moment. I'll put the third one in real quick. Third one just after this side. And then just take your stone and place it on. Like so. And I don't think that was going to work too well on that finger because it's such a big stone. But we'll see. Okay, there's three there. Okay. And now for the two blue ones right here. Uh, let's go. Actually, let's see what the best spot would be. Let's not go right on the tip there. Okay, big blue one can go right there. Don't need too much going. And we'll put the baby blue one all right over here. Okay, so the baby blue one in the corner. And with this blue one right there. Okay, so there we go. And you can also just do a base color like this and do like just the stones itself. I think that would be cute too. And then you're going to want to get your base coat. Once you know for sure that the polish is dried, get your base coat, which is mine. It's super dry. Or your top coat, excuse me. And just simply go over the whole nail. And the jewels, just to make sure the jewels are intact.
if anything, if I don't like these gels too much, I might just end up giving them away to putting them in little packages and putting them away. But I'm not quite sure yet on that. Okay, and there we go. Might look a little sloppy, but there's my two colors. As you can tell. I'm not too proud of them, but it is something, and I will end up getting better. And if you guys want to see my nail polish collection, just leave comments below and let me know if you guys want to know where I got these. Just let me know. I'm not going to really say right now because I don't want to. But, because I don't know if I actually, because I know they were almost sold out where I was. And I don't know if they can get them back. But, anyway, but comment below. Leave any comments you want to. Subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more videos. And just let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.